also wanted it to be there for all the people and parents. I use the Beatles music sort of as a template because I think a lot of their music's very whimsical but very well crafted, uh, like Rocky Raccoon, for instance. Mm -hmm. So hopefully people will appreciate this record, and my son's really been enjoying it. He's three months old now. Already, huh? I love that. So he's got it in his blood. Yeah, so, so tell us, though, as a new mom, you know, three months into the game, what kind of challenges have you been experiencing? Uh, it's the best thing I've ever done. Uh, the sleep definitely is a little bit difficult. Uh, I don't really take sleep seriously. I've been touring my whole life. I've never slept well. And everybody says sleep when the baby sleeps, and I didn't really take it seriously, and it caught up to me. So I got to consult a sleep expert, um, and we put some tips together for new parents for sleeping better. If people want our sleep tips, they can go to sleepbetter.org. Okay, and I want to hear some of those sleep tips, but first I want to ask you what it's been like Becoming a mother, I know you're excited about it, and you mentioned how much you love them, but did you ever believe just how much love, I mean, how this is all-consuming? It's amazing, you know, I think it's really mended the last hole in my heart. It's just a beautiful experience, and I look at my son, and I feel like he's the best Christmas present. Like, I get to open him, you know, and experience him. It's like a gift that just keeps giving to you for the rest of your life. It's amazing. Wait till they're 16, those gifts may start taking away. <laughs> There's a reason for that. So they have to leave. I'm only no, kidding. I've loved every single stage of it. It is a lot of fun. But so, so give us the tips for sleep, though. I mean, how do we do it? How do you do it? Gosh, a couple things help me. You know, white noise really helps baby sleep. And if baby sleeps, I sleep. Um, when he's crying hysterically, I have an app on my iPhone with a hair dryer. And it knocks him out in a second. I don't know why, but it really works. So experiment with those white noise sounds. It works on me, too. I'm a light sleeper, and he's a noisy sleeper. So every mutter and moan wakes me up. So I sleep with headphones in with white noise, and it drowns out his mutters. But, of course, I can still hear him if he cries. I sleep with a fan. My husband snores. It doesn't drown that out, but it, <laughs> <laughs> it works okay. Uh, so, Joel, what's next for you? Um, you know, I'm going to be more of a stay-at-home mom. I'm going to travel less. I'm going to do more projects from home, like this children's record, and I probably won't tour until he gets a little older. Aww. So is he going to start singing and songwriting soon, or is, or you, is he going to hop on a bull? Does he have your husband's DNA like that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just hope he finds something that he loves and that we can support him in it no matter what it is. Uh, but do I have my fingers crossed that it's not bull riding? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jewel, you look radiant. It's great to talk to you. Glad to hear that things are going so well in your life, and congrats on the new CD. Thank you so much. Well, maybe.